Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by West Street Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. Well, we've got a big homecoming weekend coming up on the campus of Bluffton University, celebrating the 125th homecoming. So a special stuff happening. To tell us more about it today, to my immediate left, we have Kenny Schneider, Development Officer of Athletics and Community Relations. Then we have Noan Hein. Heidi, <laughs> Alumni Relations Coordinator at Bluffton University. So thanks, guys, for coming today. Thank, Thank you very much for having us. us. Okay, so let's start out first. 125 years. That's such a great history to celebrate, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, been a long time, right? We have good <laughs> foundations with uh, most of our donors and alumni base. Um, you can speak a little bit more to that if you'd like. Yeah, it's going to be a very special weekend. We kick it off Friday evening with Perry Bush. He's one of our history professors. Oh, yes, he's yes. going to be talking about a book that he wrote for our 100th anniversary. So he's going to be doing that Friday evening at 4 p.m. And then Saturday, he's got a couple more presentations. We're going to have him in Musselman Library. And he's just going to be talking about the Bluffton history. And then we're also going to have a history exhibit in the Musselman Library. Yeah, he's really on top of that history, yes, isn't he? he yeah, is. He's been a regular yeah. on Noon Edition. So um, it, some things have changed on campus, though, right? I mean, you got new buildings, but I mean, some structures have kind of stayed the same, though, right? I mean, that's kind of a cool thing if people come back that they see some subtle changes on campus. Yeah, so we have College Hall, obviously the oldest building on campus, and then Musselman Library is one of the older ones as well, so it's nice to have that history aspect in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have Knowlton Science Center, which is our brand new building. Right. So um, we're also going to have campus tours that weekend, so alumni and friends can kind of tour the campus and see what's changed or what's been the same. Mm -hmm. I'm sure when alumni come back, they're like, oh, that's different. And it's pretty cool to see the changes. So the actual weekend is Friday, October 4th through the 6th, right? Correct. And all kinds of things happening on campus for that, right? We got games and other events. Uh, Absolutely. Let's talk about some of this stuff because the public can come to some of this and so you don't have to be an alumni necessarily. No, absolutely. Anybody can come out, right? Um, I know our baseball team's hosting their banana ball, right? So just like the Savannah Bananas, we try to do something <laughs> similar. Um, families actually are kind of getting involved in that as well. Um, I personally play baseball, so of course I got to shout it out, right? Right, but, exactly. Um, great little event there for sure. Um, we're also having some of our Hall of Fame come back for the football game as well. I'm um, getting honored during halftime. I personally will be out there doing the honoree, right? So, nice. again, got to throw that out there. <laughs> but, yeah, definitely a couple of events. Um, Noah and I will also be ho or hosting sorry, um, a reunion for our class, so the, the graduates of 24, right? So um, that'll be fun as well. We're going to be over at Southgate. Uh, when it comes to the football game, who are you guys playing? And, like, we can get tickets for that, right? Oh, yes. absolutely. Anderson yeah. is who we play. Okay. Yes. All mm -hmm. right, so that'll be a good game then. Yes. I think a rivalry yeah. there. All right. Food trucks, all that kind of stuff, too. Tell us more about what's on campus that maybe people can see and do. Yeah, so before the game, we're going to have tailgating, so people can come out for inflatables, lawn games, that kind of stuff. And then we are going to have a couple food trucks there. Then we're also going to have an alumni lunch, so we're having a couple businesses in Bluffton cater a lunch for them to purchase a meal so they can have um, all kinds of that stuff. Right, yeah. I, I assume it's a really important now to celebrate homecoming because eventually there'll be the, the merger with Finley, mm -hmm. right? So this is kind of a, a really fun special event to be hosting in October, isn't it? Absolutely. I love the fact that you just mentioned that too because over in Bluffton, Chamber of Commerce meeting today, we actually had both presidents, doctors um, talking about it as well, kind of smoothing over and just giving some overall insight into why we're doing it and how we're going to go about doing it. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's a process. People will learn more about it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and gradually happen. It's not going to happen overnight in the snap of the finger, so, Absolutely, you just know. like any institutional change. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. All right. So, um, all weekend long, we can kind of stop by and the alumni will be spending time there too. Um, I think it even lasts through Sunday, right? So you've got lots of events happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I believe volleyball is going to be out there as well, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. So yeah. Friday night, there's, um, like Kenny talked about, the Reunion Zero, and then there's also going to be an 80s dance. So they're having all the 80s classes come back for a dance on okay. Friday night, and then Saturday is jam-packed full of events. So right. um, people can be sure to check those out, and it'll be a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. I know. I found a lot of the info on your website, so just check it out. The information's on the screen, too. So just celebrating Bluffton in 125 years. That's a big thing to celebrate, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, sports and all kinds of stuff. Well, thank you guys for coming today. It was really nice to talk about what's happening on Bluffton campus. Yeah, thank you for having us. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.